Oh yeah, which reminds me that another uh, reason why we want to be able to tag words is, for example, if you want to use a, a robot that is going to read your uh, a, a text message out loud uh, with voice, then it should be able to distinguish between uh, permit and permit. And by knowing that one of them is a verb and the other one is a noun, it's going to be able to pronounce it correctly, otherwise no. Um, okay, so what is the distinction between unigram tagging and n-gram tagging? With unigram tagging, you assign the tag that is most likely for a particular token. Then you, you train it. Um, you train um, specifying the tag sentence data. And then you uh, separate uh, training and testing data. And then you see how well the thing performs. Um, and this thing is not taking the context into account. It's just looking at how likely is it for some word to be a uh, noun. Uh, however, the n-gram tagging is taking the context into account. Um, and why is it n? Because it's, you have, you're taking the n minus one um, previous tokens into consideration when you are deciding whether it's a noun or a verb. So for example, you had this example here where it was distinguishing between verbs and nouns. It was probably doing a bigram tagging because bigram tagging in this situation would be enough to be able to say this is a word versus this is a noun because one of them has a two in front of it um, and the other one no. And usually bigram uh, tagging words works pretty well. I think I have an example with uh, taggers and bigram tagging in my code. You can check that out. Yeah. See that I've seen, I've read somewhere that some people refer to this uh, unigram bigram to like the letter, or like, uh, like you know, which one is the, uh, is there a, like, does it apply to both cases or? To the letter, because yeah. um, you can look at the letter before it. But then it wouldn't be very informative because letters come in all sorts of different combinations. So the words that precede other words are informative. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't know, maybe for some other applications. Uh, I've never seen that no, before. But I mean, like, they refer to, like, this technique. Like, instead of using the word, like, they're using the, uh, the letter, yeah. of two or three letters or something like that in the, uh, ah, string yeah. the word or something like that. Oh, yeah, I can imagine doing that, for example, when you're trying to... Uh, correct errors in a spell ch mm -hmm. spell check a text. It it's possible, yeah. But just just generally, but also in this context, does NT, can NTL, NTLK spit out some uncertainty so that a uh, human could then check, or is everything sort of more or less deterministic? Oh uh, yeah, no, no, no. You can actually check how well you performed if you have a baseline for comparison. Yeah. If you know that something is correct, no, then I'm you. No, i you have a text. And what you'd like it to do is say, I'm pretty sure, this one I'm really sure is a verb. This one I'm not so sure about. So uh, I'm just curious, yeah. in general, can NTLK, presumably these are all, I mean, these are all sort of statistical algorithms. Does N yeah. Can NTLK spit out its uncertainty, or is it, uh, it oh, it's only spit out its best guess? No, it doesn't. It just gives us our best guess. Uh, but it wouldn't be, but then again, the thing is very flexible so that it wouldn't be very hard to write your own code that is also able to give you the uncertainty associated with what you did. But I'm not, I've never seen it in, done in a, it just gives us his, its best guess. Wouldn't be very hard and writing your own code or two things. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so one of the other things that we are using, um, NLTK4 is information extraction. And I mentioned it briefly at the beginning. Uh, what we do is that we search large bodies of text. And we search it for uh, different entity relations. And you wanna, we want to be able to look at that text and organize it into a data set. It? I'm just looking at your... Uh, your yeah, I think I'm... You've yeah, I, place, I... But I'm just looking at your divisions up there. Went to a third yeah, yeah. Third I we could probably take a break right now and it's then. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know your talk, I don't. Yeah, yeah. It's good. This is a good time I'm to take a break. I'm the text of uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Major yeah, this is a very good time to take I a don't break. Have for it. <laughs> okay, ten minutes.